Well, it's a week to go to the BNC 6500 people converging on Hermanus. Among them, Herman Mashaba, one of the keynote speakers, the leader of Action SA. I'm going to talk to him a little bit about the conference, but more interesting right now is the chaos that has erupted in Ikuruleni. We saw punch ups and fist fights going on on social media. Uh, with the red overall brigade and the ANC no longer friends going out of their coalition. And it's all because of what you had to do, Herman. You called a vote of no confidence in the mayor. Now, I, I'd like to, you know, you learning about politics, I know, as you go along there, being a businessman, and uh, we've said, we've had this conversation a few times. You say sometimes you, you're amazed at how dirty this politics is. But if you call a vote of no confidence in a coalition that has got more than 50%, in other words, the ANC and the EFF together, they were ruling a Kuruleni, misruling, I think most people would say. Uh, and why, what motivated you to call that vote of no confidence? Did you know that the ANC was ready to leave that coalition? Not, uh, not really, Alec. This uh, whole issue has got nothing to do with uh, ANC EFF uh, conflict. I think uh, for us, it's it's about ANC and EFF um, putting someone incompetent. Look, they they don't have the talent uh, themselves, but I think uh, to subject uh, residents of Kuruleni to someone as incompetent as the current mayor. Uh, we really felt, and our team in particular, and you could and said, no, you know what, uh, we're not interested in being the mayor because we don't have the numbers. Absolutely would uh, have loved uh, if we had the numbers, but we don't have the number. But at the same time, we would, re would really be failing uh, as public representatives to ask the parties uh, with the majority to really put in a capable person to really run the city, not really someone as compromised as uh, the, the current mayor. And for that reason, we put it up uh, to say, guys, please uh, give someone else. You've got the numbers. And uh, we are now surprised all of a sudden, instead of uh, making a decision and give people of Ikuruleni a competent person, now they are fighting. We, we don't know. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's actually quite a surprise, unfortunate. But I think and, and I hope uh, that it can give South Africans uh, a little bit of insight of ANC EFF coalition, which is most likely if they don't come out and vote, because we might end up with an EFF ANC um, uh, government at national level. Now you can imagine the, the, um, the chaos. So I think... Um, this, for some reason, honestly, is giving South Africans uh, uh, the, the insights to say, all of us as South Africans, uh, let us work hard to make sure that we don't end up uh, with ANC EFF majority at national level. But why did neither the ANC nor the EFF appoint their own mayor? Why did they go and get someone from a tiny political party? To rule the place. Well, uh, be, because uh, they 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 can't get along um, uh, as much as they can really try, and 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 obviously they've succeeded uh, to do it in in Ikuruleni and and, and and the city of Johannesburg. Um, uh, but um, unfortunately, you know what? I, I really wish I could uh, really have uh, an understanding, but uh, it's it is what it is. And um, I live personally in peace because. Uh, what we are witnessing, it's something that I expect because these people are not about public service. They're not in politics uh, to save society. Uh, they got into politics uh, for other motives and mo their motives is to be next to the state resources. And that's what, what makes me work hard every single day, They're literally staying away from my family every single day going out and ensuring that I can we can get as many voters as, as possible uh, to, uh, to ensure that uh, we can expose um, the rot, uh, the unpatriotic, uh, uncaring nature of these two political parties. And um, that's all one can really do. And um, uh, otherwise, uh, we're in big, big trouble because... Uh, you can imagine if uh, a scenario like you've just described um, 
with ANC ending up at 38% and uh, EFF at 18 that just the two of them can make uh, can form a government you know so but at the end of the day will they ever the govern properly or govern in a professional manner to save society absolutely not in fact um, i think uh, their um, their fights uh, uh, can only get, actually get worse uh, because um, you can imagine now you're having resources at national level for the EFF and ANC having to lose um, uh, national resources. I mean, it, it, it'll be a disaster for, for, for my country and, and, I, and I'm really very nervous. But the only way one can try and uh, resolve this matter is to work harder and mobilize other South Africans to say, please, uh, let's work together, sisters, um, uh, to really mobilize as many people as possible. And it is possible, Alec, uh, to, uh, within the next, uh, what, uh, we've left with what, 80, we 88 days to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to these elections. Um, uh, and the beauty about this year is uh, the voter uh, uh, registration numbers with the IEC, what, uh, 27.7 million. Uh, as compared to just over 26 million the last time. So we've got additional 2 million people who have now registered. But the challenge is uh, now, how do we get them to turn out on the day of voting? So it, that is what we need to do. Because one thing that uh, that's going to really happen is that um, ANC, as you are aware, in 2020, in 2019, they they were voted in out of the 18.6 million people who voted, they were voted in by just over 10 million. And then you then take uh, for fast forward it to 2021 for the first time to, to achieving 47 uh, percent being voted in by seven million. So I think if one looks at those numbers um, uh, over the last few elections, ANC, even with the prayers yesterday, I see they brought traditional people to ban some whatever. You know, it's, they are not going to get eight million people voting for them. But even that, if that's the case, so it means that there's 20 million South Africans uh, that uh, are potential voters. EFF probably will land with plus minus 2 million. So let's say 10 million. Uh, so there's um, 20, 18, 17 million South Africans who are not going to vote for those two pol political parties. The challenge is how do we get them out to vote? And majority of them are Black South Africans. It is for that reason I'm calling on, on Black South Africans to say, please, let's work together to avoid South Africa being another failed uh, state. Because you can imagine, look at the chaos now in um, in Ekurule, in Ekurulene. Um, these two parties, uh, would you want uh, to see this uh, being translated in, into national office? And if you don't go out and vote, then you must take the responsibility. But you must do it in such a way that people can understand the power of their votes. Because um, uh, uh, ANC deliberately over the last 30 years ensured that black people are poor, are kept poor and uneducated and ignorant. So it is our responsibility to all of us as South Africans uh, uh, to provide uh, that little guidance for people to actually understand those who are unemployed, those who are subjected uh, to international drug cartels, those who are being raped, um, uh, the women who are being raped, uh, the 86 uh, South Africans' families, uh, 18, uh, 86 people being murdered every single day. I'm saying to them, we can't live in a country like this. It's going to be more chaos in the event of an ANC-EFF coalition because ANC will, will not get anywhere close to 40%. Herman, those are good numbers, and thank you for unpacking them for us. But the one thing you have not put into the, uh, into the discussion is MK, Jacob Zuma. So far, that party has done very well in by-elections, a little bit, in fact, uh, in rural KZN, like you guys did when you came on the scene in by-elections in urban Gauteng. Uh, it's rural, likely that uh, they'll... KZN. Yeah, they, remember they, they'll in pick Nongoma, up 10. Remember oh, Remember true. we picked true. up 10.2 in, in right in, in Nongoma. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I remember that. I remember discussing that with you. But, but, but just to bring the Zuma factor into the equation here, how does that change your brain's trust at Action SA 
or indeed for the multi-party coalition, because it appears as though Zuma's taking votes away from the ANC and the EFF, which could make things tricky. That's the only place they can uh, they can get. They are not getting dissolution voters. They are not getting any voters from any other party except uh, mainly from the ANC, followed uh, by by uh, by. Um, uh, EFF and I see obviously of consent for me it's a little bit of uh, votes that they're taking from IFP but uh, because IFP has been really showing great growth uh, uh, since the 2021 local government elections so we were confident that uh, they, they will emerge as the biggest party and um, parties like us if we come out with uh, just plus minus 10% of, of uh, KZN um, voter base, so we can p- help uh, put them in, in, into government. So, yeah, we that, that's a kind of scenario that uh, we're hoping that um, they, 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 uh, the MK should not um, encroach into, into, the, into the IFP voter base. Um, but otherwise, uh, taking from the EFF and ANC, actually, that we must encourage. If I look at it, uh, that... They will, they will, they will, they will eat into the ANC EFF uh, the voter block, which for me um, it's roughly ten million uh, plus minus ten million. I might be few hundred uh, um, uh, out, um, but you've got twenty seven point seven million people um, who are registered to vote, and uh, this uh, this voter block will not vote uh, for these three parties. But the challenge for us as XMSA, what we are, and we are the only political party that appeals to them. Uh, we're the only political party because the others, absolutely not. So we're the only political party. The challenge for us is um, how do we get to them? We are only three and a half years old party, so we, we're still relatively new. Why not focus all your attention on Gauteng as Action SA? Just go there where you are strong. Why do you have this global, uh, sorry, this this national um, objective? Well, uh, Alec, unless you are saying you want to allow ANC to really be back in uh, uh, at national level, and because obviously what you are proposing is actually to, uh, to, to, to allow ANC at, at, at national level. I think for us as Section SA, we are confident we are going to govern uh, uh, how they, the ANC can forget about it. But how do we leave out um, Western Cape votes uh, that are there for the taking? Eastern Cape, uh, Limpopo, and so forth, because they are the ones uh, who are going with those numbers are going to add uh, to, to the national picture to drop the ANC uh, the, um, numbers. So any province or any street we don't contest, basically we we had, would be tantamount to not voting. In fact, it's like what I've just said to you, that people have, um, are not really prepared to vote because they think by voting is voting for the ANC. For us not to contest any uh, province, it would actually be a vote for the ANC. And that's uh, the last thing in the world I'm going to do. Good. I thought uh, we'd hear something along those lines, and you've already shown it in Nongoma, as you said, uh, you, where you do contest. Oh, and in what about uh, um, uh, Polo Kwan in Sichuho, the birthplace, the way the Mandela, the uh, area where Man- Malema was born? We learned uh, the beginning of uh, 2002, uh, um, 2022, we contested a by election, uh, no, last year, the beginning of last year, January last year. Best place of my of Malema. Three months before we learned about the by election, uh, and we said, "Guys, let's go and and, and test the waters." We got uh, what uh, just under ten percent um, of the votes uh, in 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 that uh, municipality. We had uh, in in that ward. Uh, we are uh, we became the third biggest uh, political party. EFF still maintained the ward, but we dropped them. We dropped uh, ANC. We became the third biggest uh, party. When you look at the by-elections and you look at your performance in the by-elections, those polls and what the pollsters are telling you and what the by-elections are saying are two very different things. But the final qu- uh, issue, the multi-party charter and Gayton McKenzie. Now, I know from the Biz News Conference uh, a couple of times, I think it was BNC3, 
where you and Gaten McKenzie spoke after each other, you got on well, you had selfies together, you put them onto social media. The two of you appear to have a good connection, but you still see the Patriotic Alliance, Gaten's party, going with the ANC and the EFF in certain municipalities. How are you going to turn that around if, let's say, the PA is the critical kingmaker come the next election? Well, uh, Alec, I've said this to you many times, and I've said it in many platforms and, and un unapologetic. Right now, you know, it, it hurts me uh, to, uh, to know that uh, uh, residents of the city of Johannesburg are subjected to an EFF-ANC coalition. When uh, we, um, uh, Gaten and uh, Pietritic Alliance uh, are happy to work with us yesterday. Unfortunately, without the support of the DA, we can't. DA is refusing uh, every proposal, including asking them to say, DA, we understand and we respect that you don't want to be in a messy coalition. We all agreed, other parties, to say, give us a chance. We put you a DA in a very powerful position where we, we support us on an issue by issue basis. We are not going to take any report to council without consulting you. That puts you, uh, you uh, in any coalition anywhere in the world when you've got such an arrangement, puts in such a very powerful position. So we said, we are prepared to work with the, with the PA. You'll hold us accountable so there won't be any CADA deployment. There won't be any stealing. Because if there's any stealing, you, you're going to, 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 to be there as a lab dog to ensure that we do the right thing. But uh, please help people of Johannesburg, um, free them from the ANC and EFF. They are refusing. You can talk to uh, Gaten. If, if uh, DA can say, guys, go for it uh, tomorrow. We'll have a motion of no confidence remover the puppet mayor in in, um, in 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 Johannesburg and put in a government that can serve the residents of Johannesburg and the DA can then play a watchdog to ensure that um, uh, they uh, whatever we do we are accountable to, to, to them but they are refusing I, what, what, that's something that unfortunately for me it helps me as a resident of Johannesburg. Um, uh, to, to to really see uh, the collapse of 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 our of our city when now uh, we, we we have an opportunity to uh, to save it. Unfortunately, we don't have the numbers without the DA. But what about at a national level? Do you trust Gaten McKenzie would be a force for good if you if he were to be the kingmaker for the MPC? And could you convince your MPC partners? To go along. Well, I think all of all all the parties except the DA is refusing to 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 to, um, to get uh, um, uh, Gaten to join us, and um, we're trying. We hope uh, some sense will prevail because I can tell you whether we like it or not. Um, chances of uh, needing a PA are very very high. Unless uh, we prepare to give this government to the ANC and EFF and uh, MK and Jacobson, uh, there's a very good likelihood. And actually, I can tell you right now, Alec, without any shade of doubt, um, um, uh, in the Western Cape, uh, you're going to have a coalition government there. And, and the Gaten uh, uh, will also be a player. Action SA is going to be a player. So I don't know. Uh, it's up to the DA to really decide. Just explain that in the Western Cape, a coalition, in, in other Cape, words, the DA will come below 50. There. You're going to have mm -hmm. a coalition government there. How are you seeing no one that? Is gonna get, no one is going to get outright majority in the Western Cape. No one is going to get outright majority in the Western Cape. And, but how do you see the numbers stacking up when you say no one well, will get a majority, uh, well, which the well, DA has Right now, now it will be academic uh, to give you exact numbers because exact numbers, you'll we'll only get them after the IEC has, has counted and we're all happy with the results. But uh, no one is going to get outright majority. Uh, we, we, we've, we've presented a very extraordinary uh, candidate for the Western Cape uh, Premier was in... Uh, in, uh, in, in, in Cape Town uh, last week in Mannenberg, 
you know, to, to put in a real great lady to as, as our candidate. As I'm talking to you now, she's on the ground uh, um, uh, in Mannenberg and um, all the, the areas uh, doing some amazing work and the reception is fantastic. And on the other hand, um, well, uh, we uh, you 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 ignore Gaten at your at your peril at your own peril. Herman Mashaba, the leader of Action SA, and I'm Alec Hogg from Biznews.com. <laughs>